I intercept. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, when we want to do that, we want to make sure that our equation is in the form of y equals mx plus b. Because based on our definitions, if we know what m is, that's going to represent our slope. And we know if b is, that's going to be our y-intercept. So basically in this one, again, the slope-intercept equation has the y isolated. So we see the y. We see that our y is being added by 6. So to isolate it, I will subtract a 6 on both sides. Therefore, I have the form y equals x over 4 minus 6. Now, this still might get some students confused because you think of m as what's being multiplied by the x, right? And you don't really see a number being multiplied by x. You see a number being divided by x. Well, just remember that if you don't have a physical number in front, we can always remember that that could be really a 1 times x. Um, and then that 1 is being divided by 4. So I could also write this equation in this format, which would probably make more sense to you. These are equivalent forms. 1, t one um, times x divided by 4 is really the same thing as 1 fourth times x. Same thing. But now, hopefully you guys can see it in this format, it's much easier to identify that the slope is 1 fourth. And we always want, to write our, we always want to write our slopes as a fraction. Even if you had a whole number, I would always put it over 1 so it's always a fraction. And then my y-intercept is going to be my coordinate point where b is negative 6. So um, my b is equal to negative 6. Or I always like to write it with, as a coordinate point. Because remember, y-intercept is a coordinate point. Anybody have any 